everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. This is my second time where I have done an organizing my craft supply video. This time I'm in a new apartment. I have a lot more supplies to organize and I have a couple new organizational options at my fingertips, including my DIY cube shelf hack, which I posted a video on a couple weeks ago. I have so many supplies that I don't wanna bring them all into this room right now. I wanna tackle a couple of the things that I'm moving from my drawer units over to my brand new DIY cabinet. So let's get started. I'm going to be putting all of my little odds and ends bits into these Dollar Tree containers and these just work really perfectly for organizing super tiny supplies. I then put all of the little containers into a Dollar Tree pencil box, that way they're all nice and kept together. In these glass jars, I'm putting all of my various little pom-poms. I don't know why I have so many, but it was enough to fill two jars, and I just thought it would look cute where you could see the pom-pom showing through the glass. Now back to the drawers. In the bottom drawer, I decided that would be a good place to store all of my felt. And then my ribbon drawer is very, very chaotic, so I organized all of the ribbons by putting them into color order. My top drawer is where I put all of my go-to tools and supplies. So I started by taking everything out and then using these purple containers that you just saw earlier, I'm filling two of them with my different types of hot glue sticks because I have regular hot glue and Gorilla hot glue. After a little bit of shuffling around, I was able to get all of the hot glue guns, my scissors, and everything like that nice and organized in the top drawer. Now jumping back to my cabinet, on the top of my little DIY shelf insert, I put all of my different yarns. Then underneath the yarn, I put my jars of pom-poms, my different glues and Mod Podges, and my strings and twines. Next up, I've acquired three bins just full of random miscellaneous stuff. So my plan of action when tackling things that are just a bunch of odds and ends that are weird is just to take it, dump it all out, sort into categories, and see what needs to be easy access, what could be saved away, and what I could possibly get rid of, which, knowing me, I don't part with any craft supplies, so this will be interesting. This was everything in those three bins. I am just completely overwhelmed. Why did I let myself do this? 
To organize this mess, I have a nice big cube bin that fits in my cabinet that I'm just going to fill with all of the different supplies that I know I'll need to access at at least some point. I also have another one of those pencil box containers that I filled with glitter and other odds and ends. Because these bins are super big, it's kind of hard to organize with them, so I'm just going to use one of these Dollar Tree magazine or book organizers and it'll fit right in here and I can slip stuff down in to keep it nice and neat. I also use a magazine organizer for all of my wood pieces that I use for my wood crafts and this worked out really really great since this bin is one of my most accessed bins. I decided I'll store all of my notebooks and sketch pads in one place in this final cube of the cabinet. It also just gives me a little bit of extra room to grow. I am finally on to one of the last parts of completing my new craft cabinet and it looks so cute and I just need to transfer this overly full fabric bin into my new fabric bin. Now I totally forgot to adjust the camera to film this but all I did was move the fabric from one bin to another so really it wasn't much to look at anyways. I also put all of my tiny fabric scrap pieces into this little metal jar. I put away all of my most used craft supplies and I do still have this cube shelf which is awesome. I thought I'd already be completely overfilling this shelf by now but I haven't so that is just... I'm so proud of myself, that's all I can say. So I'm gonna put in a couple things in this shelf. I have some holiday DIY supplies that I don't like having mixed in with my regular supplies, along with my faux florals, which have actually been getting smashed in a box. So I think this shelf will kind of allow them to not be so squished anymore. So let's just finish this up, and then that will complete organizing my supplies, and I'll give you a tour of the finished result at the end. hours later, I have finally completed organizing all of my craft supplies. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. I don't know if there was a whole lot of tips or tricks with this video, but maybe just the process of seeing me get organized can be a bit inspiring. So before I get to the outro, I'm going to give you a little final tour of how I arranged everything in my different organizational objects. Starting with my drawer unit, my top drawer has all of my most used craft supplies and I love how this turned out. I think putting the hot glue in these little containers was the perfect move. I didn't film organizing the second drawer because nothing has changed here. I've always kept my acrylic paint looking just like this in the second drawer. Now a drawer down from my paint, I have some of my odds and ends like my wire, a little bit of extra string and embroidery floss, some of these little blades for cutting paper, and just various different items that really had no place to go. My ribbon drawer now looks awesome that it's completely color coordinated and organized. And finally on the bottom, you'll find all of my different pieces of felt and some tissue paper that sometimes I need while crafting. Over in my cabinet, I have all of my wood crafts on the top and it looks very chaotic, admittedly. And next to it, I have my fabric bin, which is also pretty chaotic and packed full, but you know, it works for me. Inside the cabinet, I put two push pins into the door so that I can hang up my cutting mat as well as some of my rulers. And then, of course, how I organize the inside shelves with my yarn, my different strings and glues 
and of course my miscellaneous bin and all of my organized scrapbook paper. And finally, moving on to my spare cube shelf, I decided to take all of the florals out of one of the fabric bins and store them in this plastic bin instead because it just gives them a little extra room. Then within the fabric bins, I have all of my Christmas supplies, all of my Halloween and fall supplies, and then just some leftover miscellaneous bits that I really didn't know what to do with. And that actually leaves me with three extra spaces on this cube shelf that I could fill up with other things or, you know, it would probably be better if I left them empty. That completes this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to check out my previous organizing my craft supplies video, that is linked down below. And if you want to check out my dining room makeover, that will also be linked below and I'm putting a card up above. Before I go, don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.